Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Megan Campbell and this is Megan Stuff. Just a quick note guys, if you want to know why this is going to be my last build video on YouTube, stick around to the end of the video, I'll go into a bit more detail there. So today I'm going to attempt to build something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time and that is build a cannon. Now the idea is to make a working cannon that can actually shoot projectiles. Now I found these lying around my house. This is um, slingshot ammo and uh, as you can see they are really nice perfectly round stainless steel balls and these are around 9.5 millimeters in diameter. So I went out and I got a 9.5 millimeter drill bit which I'll use to drill out the hole. I'm going to be making the cannon out of this piece of 25 millimeter hex bar stock. Um, as you can see it is brass. And obviously I'll be making the base and the wheels mostly out of wood. Um, I will have a couple of pieces of metal accent pieces um, here and there. But I'm not going to be going over too many of the details because I'm going to kind of figure it out as I go. So let's get started.
Okay, there we go guys, it's done. And I know I probably say this about every project that I complete, but this definitely has to be the awesomest thing that I've ever built. Now, as you can see, I made a couple of extra things uh, off camera. I made a base for it. I made a holder for all the cannon balls. I made a plunger for the cannon. I also made a powder keg as well as a holder for the wicks. And I also made this really cool little spoon, which I can use to measure out the powder and uh, fill the cannon. Now I did all of this off camera because this took quite a while and um, frankly that could have been a whole video in itself. But making it all off camera means that I got it done in less than half the time. Now all that's left is to test it. Now I'm most probably not going to test it on this nice stand that I made for it. This is mainly for display purposes and I've got no idea at the moment how powerful this cannon is going to be and if these chains are even going to hold it in place. Um, I don't want to run the risk of breaking it. So I'm probably going to put together some kind of temporary solution so that I can test this safely without damaging anything that I've built already. So let's go fire this cannon. Two both phones. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now that the fun is over, it's time to get serious for a moment. Now, as you can obviously tell by the title of this video and the thumbnail, I have made a decision and it was a really hard decision for me to make. You see, I've been doing this for more than four years now and I've really enjoyed every single moment of it. Anyone that knows me will know that that is quite a long time for me to be dedicated to one thing. As one of my biggest flaws, I would say, is that I get bored very quickly. And as a result of that, the content on my channel has varied significantly since the beginning. Because as I get bored with one thing, I just move on to something else. Now the downside of that is that the one thing that has managed to keep me um, interested and excited about making videos on YouTube for so long is pretty much also the one reason why my channel hasn't grown the way I'd hoped and the way it should have. You see, if there's one thing that I've learned over the last four, four and a half years on YouTube is that if you want your channel to grow predictably and successfully, then you best stay in your lane. And what I mean by that is if you start your channel with a certain topic in mind, it is best to stick to that topic indefinitely, at least up until the point that you've reached uh, 100,000 subscribers plus. Now, obviously, once you've reached a million plus, you can pretty much do whatever you like. Now, I was naive enough to think that I could do the same and I realized the hard way that that is just not possible. In the early days on my channel, I monitored my growth a lot using Social Blade and uh, before I started varying my content, Social Blade predicted according to the growth of my channel at that stage that my channel would reach 100,000 subscribers in four or five years.
Here I am about two or three years later and I've only just hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 for which I am very thankful and very happy. But seeing as this is something that I'm pretty much doing full time, it is nowhere near enough to keep me going. Now, at the moment, my channel is currently bringing me between 80 and 100 US dollars a month, which I could probably be making in a week by delivering pizzas. Now, don't get me wrong, from the start, I was never doing this for the money. I was always doing it because I really enjoyed it. The problem is, a couple of months from now, I'm turning 40 and I really need to start thinking about my future. 20 years from now, which uh, at my age is in the blink of an eye, I'm going to have to start thinking about things like retirement and I find it really hard to just sit back and live off my wife's good graces for the rest of my life. So at least for the foreseeable future, I won't be making any build videos on YouTube as they take a tremendous amount of my time and effort. And as of right now, it just doesn't seem to be worth it. So I'm going to be spending more of my time uh, making and selling products. Thankfully, I've learned a whole lot of skills over the last four years with all of the things I've made. I've made things that I would never have thought that I'd be able to make. And these are all skills and products that I can actually make and sell and perhaps make some kind of living. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not saying that I'm never ever going to make another video on YouTube. I possibly will make some um, mountain bike videos as I'm still a very passionate mountain biker and making those takes a whole lot less of my time. I may also throw in a couple of smaller build videos here and there, but for the most part, the bulk of my time is going to be spent making products that I can sell. Now, I know there might be some of my subscribers that would be interested in buying some of the products that I make, but unfortunately, most of the things that I make I'm probably going to only be selling local as sending anything abroad from Namibia costs just way too much money. So for the time being, at least all of the sales that I do generate, unfortunately, will most probably be local. So I didn't write a script for this whole speech that I just delivered. So I'm pretty sure there are a whole lot of things that I would have liked to have said that I've totally forgotten about. But in a nutshell, unless something changes drastically on my channel in terms of subscribers or revenue, I am unfortunately going to have to put a hold on all of my longer build videos and I'm going to have to find some better and more creative way of spending my time so that I can hopefully generate at least some revenue. So with all that said, this is goodbye for now. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up or share it with a friend. And as always, until next time, keep making stuff.